have to have a focus, a goal. What makes you happy? What, um, and unfortunately, um, if you have insane abusers or just one can really destroy your life. Just one toxic, insane abuser that knows absolutely everything about you and will bring up your past of you being a failure and you know, not be able to do anything like right. that. That'll just kill your spirit. That, that just, you're nothing. I was nothing because of an insane abuser and then all the insane abusers in my life um, stopped me from being able to think, well, what makes me happy? Well, I should be focused on you know, good things and, you know, everything can be um, falling apart around you but you can do your best not to fall apart. You can do your best to um, keeping it together and <laughs> not pretending to be an animal. <laughs> I identify myself as a particular alien animal. And it just doesn't I mean, I, that is really weird that society uh, has accepted this insanity. And I may see a little type of that, but that, well, to that extent, that's really, really sad to, uh, I would say to hate yourself that much that, uh, no, they, um, they obviously don't love, them, love themselves, but, um, and then you get into, uh, to me it looks like they hate themselves. That would be my opinion of these people. They're, they're really lost, and... Um, the people that seek attention are insane abusers. Those people are abusing anyone but themselves. But an insane abuser will insist on their victim being crazy. And I've uh, dealt with that my entire existence with insane abusers. They, uh, they absolutely hate themselves and they turn all their hate onto their victim and then they make their victim out to be, oh, well, they're, they're crazy. You know, they, you know, and when in all reality the insane abuser it has total control over the victim's life and it should be noted that way also. I mean, there should be a little love in this world that is really, really obvious of who a victim is. I mean, you know, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out, like, oh, okay, well, who has all the control? The victim doesn't have any control at all. It's like, who, who is, you know, controlling their life and telling them what to do and how to do it and when to do it and that they're not allowed outside. They're not allowed out, you know, um, out of their sight, which all my abusers did do. I was property of 
pretty much a lot of my viewers. Um, half of my viewers, I was their property. It's a lot. So, yeah, I wasn't allowed to leave uh, the house when I had my first boyfriend. And my mom came down to get me. I was like, why? You know, he's supposed to be my boyfriend. I'm trying to get away from you, my abuser. To go to a lesser evil abuser that was my whole life. And then, you know, I went out with Dumb and Dumber to get away from my, the worst abuser. And that, that's the way my whole life was. It's so sad. And in 2012, there was a worse abuser, late Michael Allen Bellis, and I had to go back to Dumber. Because he was the lesser abuser out of the, out of, from him. Same with my mom. You know, I, I went to my lesser abusive boyfriend. But he was... So that was the choices I had. And society, you know, it doesn't make any sense. It's like, you know, what other choices do I have? I still love my boys. I want to be around my boys. Like... No one helps out a poor victimized mom. Like, all she needs is a place for her and her kids. Can some church help them out? Like, here you go. Here's a room for you guys. You can share the kitchen and just that. That's all mom needs. Like, look at my horrifying life. I never, you know, no cooperation. No, no, no normal, no sanity. Um, it's torture when you're not around your, you know, when you, your kids are taken away from you. It's that's mental anguish in itself. Um, so whatever. Um, I'm tired. Um, this is a waste. I mean, why am I even doing this? Okay, it's a serious thing. Um, life is not what you make of it because victims can't make anything out of their life because they're not allowed to by their insane abusers. And yeah, you know, that was my whole life. And I didn't have anything but, you know, go to the lesser abuser, you know, at the time. Uh, what a sad fucking life, man. Really, and I, I mean, that video that said, you know, if my abuser would just die, that was over seven years ago, and I was really, really good looking in the video. If my abuser would just die, then I have a chance. And, uh, um, it's just, uh, my life is just that bad. Um, and, God. Life shouldn't be that hard. It, it, I mean, people should be uh, nice to you, but they're not. Well, uh, most people hate themselves and they're jealous of you loving yourself or you, uh, being at peace. You're not allowed to be at peace. You're, you have to be as miserable as they are, and they'll make you miserable because... They demand you to do things. And they only run, and then they'll be in denial of it. That's just disgusting. It's, just, it's useless. <laughs> just like the people 
identify me in a dog. Well, yeah, okay, well, actually, that's less abusive. <laughs> it's a little annoying to be around a person, maybe like that, that identifies me an animal or something like that, but they're not bothering you. So, that would be a good crazy, because as long as they're not bothering you, I mean, it's a little annoying, but it, it's, uh, not attacking you with insults to make you, I mean, you, you can just, like, try to tell them to stop it and, you know, get away from them, as far away from them from the room as possible, go into the next room, but they're not bothering you. The animal people, they are just bothering themselves. When you abuse yourself, you're not abusing anybody else. The What society should care about is domestic violence. When the insane abuser bothers somebody else, something should be done about that. And it's just sad. Nothing is. It's really, really sad. Oh, get a PFA off. I guess, so what the hell is that? That doesn't do anything. It doesn't solve anything. Go lock them up in a facility and have them work for the victim and give the victim money. That makes sense. It's the only thing that makes sense with domestic violence. Well, I like that video. That's how sad my life is. Ever seven years ago, it never changed. If my abuser would just die, and then look what happened in my life. My, one of my abusers did die. My husband. And then what happened? And then that person's in complete, total denial. What the hell? You know, I, I mean, abuse is abuse. I'm just going to say this right now. I mean, he absolutely hated uh, late George Carlin and Weird Al Yankovic. He made fun of them so much. And then for him to change his mind. Oh, I like George Carlin. Oh, I think he's, I think he's funny. I, yeah, I, I like Weird Al Yankovic. I never said I didn't like him. I, I can't stand a to co total, complete fucking liar. No, that's not... No, he always hated Weird Al Yankovic, like, with a passion. Like, disgust. Like, like... How can somebody extremely hate someone that he never met? How could he extremely hate Oprah? George Carlin and Weird Al Yankovic. I mean, yeah, it's just... That is a crazy person. Oh, I hate you. I hate Oprah. Oh, I hate her. Oh, she's off. Like, ew. What the fuck is the matter with you? Yeah, you know, and you're like, oh my god. You totally hate yourself and you're just totally fucking nuts. Hating somebody you never met? Yeah, you know, like, Oprah don't watch her TV show. Well, what the hell, man? What, what the fuck is the matter with you? Oh, but n now he changed his mind. Oh, now he likes all these people that he said he extremely hated. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, right? You can't just change your mind. Oh, uh, no. I mean, whatever. That's uh, very annoying. Um, no, I, you know, he, he can't do that. Can't just also change your mind. Oh well, now I.